In the last video, we talked about how a web server might sometimes ask a client um, to kind of scrape pages a little bit slower. Um, the other thing it might do is it might tell uh, certain clients that they're kind of banned in general, or it might tell them to specifically not access certain pages. Um, you know, and, and the way they'll do that is that on any given website, there's usually this robots.txt file. And, um, and here's an example of the one on my website. Um, what this is saying is that um, for user agent, that's the name of our web crawler star, so this is for everybody, I'm going to block uh, access to this. And this is just kind of a courtesy thing, right? I mean, anybody could write a web scraper that could do that anyway. Um, and, uh, and kind of the legal standing of that is a little bit dubious, right? It's not clear uh, where the law comes down on respecting robots.txt, and it's probably something that's always evolving and differs by country to country. But I think just in general, right, to be polite, well, we don't want to scrape things that we've been asked not to scrape, right? It's just kind of a, a being a rude user of the internet. And, um, and so there's different reasons people might do that. Um, one is that sometimes there's just content on the internet that doesn't really make sense to be part of a, of a, you know, like a search engine. And so often they're trying to communicate to, to Google, hey, this is not something that I'd really want to be searchable. Maybe it changes too often or whatever. Um, there's other reasons. So for example, um, I had the, all the kind of all these example pages in a prior lecture. And one of the examples is this calendar site here. And on the calendar site, there's some pages that link to each other. And, and then I get some something that's like January, 2020. I see that that one has a link to Jan February 2020 and I keep clicking and well actually I mean if I have some sort of calendar on my website maybe it's infinite and um, and so I'm almost trying to signal to somebody who's doing web crawling you know don't keep doing depth first search or breadth first search on the links because you'll never be done right it's almost kind of a courtesy and um, okay so how do we figure out uh, whether or not we can access the, this. I mean, my file here is pretty simple. If we go over to one like, you know, reddit.com slash robots.txt, I, I see it's actually quite complicated, right? Um, there, there are certain um, scrapers, right? Maybe they've been rude before. They're kind of blocked from everyone. Voltron is uh, blocked from everyone. Um, there, there are certain files that they want uh, to disallow for everybody. Right, so it's kind of all this stuff that they're allowing or, or disallowing um, on Reddit. And it would be kind of complicated to figure out, well, am I following the rules or, or not? And, uh, and so Python actually comes with something called the robot parser in this module called urllib. And it will help us understand the robots.txt and, uh, and kind of figure out what pages we are or are not allowed to visit. And, um, and so they have a nice example here. Maybe I'm just going to kind of work with the example. Uh, let me kind of copy these first two things like this. So I have my nice um, kind of window over here. I'm going to do this, try to delete these arrows here. So I'm importing the robot parser and then I'm creating a robot file parser. So that's good. And then what we need to do is we need to say robot parser dot set URL. And we have to have the website of uh, that we're kind of interested in scraping. And so I'm going to copy that, copy that, like so. And if I were building this, I would probably have that just be the last step. But we also just have to make this call to read. So I do that. And so now the robot parser object, which I created here, uh, knows what I can access or not on this website. And I can ask it questions. Um, I can say robot parser dot may I fetch may I fetch and then here I have to do two things I have to say like who am I and I have to say a URL so this who am I is going to be things like what I see over here like maybe it's Voltron and when we're doing some scraping I mean we can name ourselves whatever we want right we could just pass that in some headers I'm not trying to get into the details of that uh, but you should look it up if you're doing some serious scraping to just be polite. Um, I'm just trying to make up a name here. I'm going to say that we're the CS320 robot. That's our name. And the, the, the page I'm interested in is, is this. It's going to be, may I fetch, well, let me, let me head back here for a moment. May I fetch this page, this c.html thing. And I'm going to check if that's okay. Okay, can I fetch 
c.html and it says go ahead you're welcome to do that if i want to access another page so for example if i go to this january page where i might start getting stuck in this infinite sequence of, of things uh, then what let me paste this here i'm going to january 2020 then it'll say well, not that, I hope. Why, why is it accessing? I can access that. Um, that. That was a little bit strange. Let me kind of check what I have here. It's calendars, months, and Uh, excuse me, I just had to pause the video for a minute. I think I had just made an up update to the site and it kind of hadn't fully reflected yet. And um, and, and so let me just kind of try this again. I'm going to do a kernel restart and run all. And what I'll see is that I am allowed to access c.html, but I'm not allowed to access a calendar because that could just kind of keep going on forever and I would get stuck if I actually tried to scrape it.